we are in Naples, um, on the outskirts of Naples, the district Pianura. Uh, hello, travel inspired community. And uh, we're having a look at some interesting new graffiti. Uh, this is obviously called Graffiti Propaganda. It's a work in progress. These are their latest pieces. There used to be a graffiti of the Italian rapper Fedez here and they changed it and they worked on it creating these faces. I, later on I will show you some more graffiti of these artists, uh, namely one um, called San Gennaro. Another look at uh, contemporary art in Naples, street art. This is a San Gennaro just by Forcilla. Very large, very expressive, with the signature sideburn scars on the right cheek. On the bottom right you can notice um, the blood of San Gennaro. San Gennaro is the protector of Naples city. He was uh, killed in uh, Roman ages, he was beheaded, but somebody supposedly kept the blood from his execution and put it in a glass vial. The glass vial and the blood is kept in the Duomo di Napoli, Naples Cathedral, and once a year there is a miracle, the blood of San Gennaro liquefies it goes from being clotted to liquid form again and whenever the miracle does not take place it's considered a bad omen a terrible omen for the city obviously many people don't believe in this so-called miracle and they say it's a ruse of a church to make money but anyway we do believe in san gennaro and we do believe he protects us and protects the city. Typical uh, thing to say in Neapolitan would be San Gennaro, you take care of it, San Gennaro. Just a quick uh, side to tell you about a conversation uh, I had uh, with my dad, which was quite fun. We were discussing uh, useful and useless saints. So I said, uh, well, saint is a title given by man, men, for men, obviously. Uh, probably if there is an afterworld, they take no notice of who is or who is not a saint. But anyway, I quoted uh, uh, Saint Teresa of Calcutta as a useful saint, saying she had done a lot for ill people, poor people, giving her assistance and uh, her total dedication. And so I asked my dad to quote uh, the name of a useless saint. And he said, well, that's easy, San Gennaro. <laughs> what the fuck did San Gennaro do? Nothing. He just got his head cut off. That's all he did. I thought that was hilarious. It's quite funny. Some details I hadn't noticed before uh, from the other side of the road. The pupil of the eye reads... Davide, David. On the upper left part of the eye, there is a pair of handcuffs. And just under the eye, some letters say crime. Here in the pupil of the eye, you can just about make out Rione Traiano. Rione Traiano is a high uh, crime rate area of Naples and a couple of years ago a boy was shot by the police uh, because he didn't stop when the police asked him for uh, documents. We are in Rione Traiano. Uh, Rione Traiano is near the stadium, San Paolo. Uh, this is obviously a Madonna. La Madonna dell'Arco and this is a shrine built for Davide Bifulco. Davide Bifulco was this kid 
age 16 and he wasn't exactly a good kid. He was on board a moped um, with a friend. He probably had drugs on him and he was escaping from the police. The police chased the kids along this street and they shot at the kids and they killed Davide. Who Davide is basically considered a martyr, if not a hero, almost died in action. Uh, so the locals uh, built this shrine for him, in memory of him, and the police uh, attempted to destroy the shrine, um, tear it apart several times, like four or five times, but Finally, they just left it and let it be. This spot has officially become graffiti wall or street art wall here in Via Cinzia Pianura. So if you want to look at graffiti, you'll need a car to come and have a look. But this is one of the spots. This is uh, graffiti propaganda. I have to point out that in Italian, we sometimes misuse the term graffiti uh, we really mean street art um, as I was saying before this is the new hot spot for street art or one of the new hot spots for street art in Naples Pianura the other being uh, Ponticelli San Giovanni Barra and obviously Naples city center wondering what I'm doing here well this is part of my cycling training for my travel so see you later <laughs> 